Okay, this is an introduction uh, to Google Forms add-on SkillRadar. Uh, in this uh, tutorial I will give you instructions how to use it and how to create your amazing uh, SkillRadars. So SkillRadar is a self-evaluation tool and um, where you can identify uh, your overall skill set uh, from a simple chart. Okay, let's start by creating a new form in Google Forms. Uh, you can find Google Forms easily by uh, googling Google Forms and start creating your forms. So let's click uh, plank and now we have a new form okay i'm a new user i don't want to take the tour so i click no thanks uh, now the first step is that you will have an empty form and you need to enable uh, the extension or add-on whatever so you click the three dots menu here and then find a piece of puzzle uh, icon saying add-ons click here and you will be seeing a add-on selection and you can uh, find the skill radar add-on by typing into the search field skill radar Uh, click enter and as you can see it's free and just click uh, free and then you will be need to give certain per permissions for skill radar add-on so basically it will use the information to access uh, the form stored into your Google Drive Okay, click allow. And now I I should be getting a new. Uh, okay, here's the information uh, about the skill radar. So it says uh, install the required fields, uh, create skill groups, and use scale questions from values from uh, zero to six. And then you can start collecting your data and after some people have uh, inserted uh, the data into your form then you can start creating the radars okay got it and now after you have added uh, the add-on it will appear on your form if it doesn't appear right away uh, you might need to reload your fr uh, form and you can do it by just uh, hitting reload or just uh, command R let's see if we have it okay so here is a uh, bustle icon uh, that contains all the add-ons that you have installed for Google Forms uh, but first let's name our form, uh, our form so let's say this is a skill radar okay and we can okay it automatically gives this uh, name for the first section of the form and then we click uh, the bustle icon and then the skill radar generator and there's a, a menu where you can start creating the radars uh, per individual or the team but first we need to install the required fields uh, this feature here uh, will open a new window where you just click install form fields button and now you can see that there are some new fields 
coming up to your farm. So here's uh, just what you need and basically you can get rid of the uh, default uh, untitled question here by clicking delete. Now uh, the required fields uh, for this add-on is a person name so don't uh, change uh, uh, the field name here let it be person name then the second required field is team uh, don't re, uh, rename the field either uh, but you can rename the teams and if you just have one theme you can get rid of the unnecessary uh, teams in your team menu uh, this will be displayed as a drop down for the users uh, then uh, basically uh, and your skill set will be defined in uh, a sections so you can define skill groups uh, for example let's say uh, my first skill group is um, what I say okay IT and the, um, on the template what the installer uh, uh, gives us it gives three different scales uh, skill 1, skill 2, skill 3 uh, uh, but we can rename them uh, for example okay office applications um, okay then next one will be for example, okay, something stupid here, email. Everyone knows how to use email, but in case you might have some users who struggle with these things. Okay, and let's say the third thing that we want to know about our users is something else. Okay, let's say... Uh, Let's say you YouTube, and um, you can provide more information uh, for your fields by giving a description. Okay, chat videos on YouTube. Okay, so how good are you at watching cat videos? So. But this is now your IT skill group. You can add more by cr creating a new section by clicking this icon here. And inside the section you give the title. Okay, let's say this one is, uh, that was uh, IT. This one will be, let's say soft skills. And if you add a new uh, scale question to your skill set you need to follow this pattern here so click add question and change the type to linear scale and set the values from 0 to 6 and then uh, give your question for example in this case I will just use I don't want to uh, spend your time on unnecessary things so it will be skill number one okay and make it required and then I'm gonna duplicate this one so I can say skill two and one more skill three so now I have a uh, two sections with three questions each and then I can start collecting my data so I will go to fill out the form give you an answer so John Doe is filling the form and he's coming from the team number one and gives us his answer and you might want to give a good description on how the scale works so what zero means what 
uh, three means four, six means and so on. But let's just give it a quick demo how this works. Okay, that's my IT skills. And then let's move on to the soft skills. And with soft skills, I do a little bit better work. Okay, so now I have my first uh, uh, submission in the form. And we, if we go back to the administration of the form, we can see that there is now a new response. Uh, Google Forms gives you right away some information about how the answers are distributed. But then uh, to get this actual skill radar, uh, we use uh, the add-on. So click uh, the bustle uh, once more, then skill radar, generator, and now we choose individual skill radar. So it opens up a new uh, window where I can see a list of um, people who have filled in the form and then I can create the skill writer. And now here is my skill writer. So my soft skills and the IT, they are distributed like this. Um, you can add more skill groups or just have everything inside one skill group um, and the more you have the more uh, items will be displayed here on the actual radar okay so that's it this is a uh, add-on for the google forms skill radar and now you can just uh, start uh, seeing how you can uh, self-evaluate yourself and your team members. I hope this helps you. Thank you.